guys, I'm in Merida and I'm meeting someone special. Let's see if she's here. All right. Church looks awesome, man. It's a huge church. Wow, man. Okay. Thank you. No, no, no. I said no necessity. Okay. Oh, ¿Dónde ustedes? De Venezuela. ¿Qué parte? Falcon? No. 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 Sucre. Cumaná, Estado Sucre. Ajá. Maracucha. Mar Estado Zulia. Estado Bolívar. Y Estado Trujillo. Ay, te están grabando. No, vamos. Es que es verdad, Fabi. Yo tú, es de Francia. Y tiene mucha plata en YouTube. YouTube. Tiene mucha plata. ¿Quién? ¿Quién tiene? Oh, you want to clean my house, girl? Okay, let's go. 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 Okay, Yes, there's like a commercial. Right, pouring the meat into the pot. All right, guys, lunch is served. Okay. Excellent. Hello, how are you? Hello. My name is Silvia. Okay. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay, you guys were able to donate to this channel so I can give them some money. We made up to 1500 USD. I'm gonna cook some food and after that, I'm gonna surprise them, all right? All right, so they're putting it in the microwave. Vamos a Venezuela entonces. She basically told me I can uh, hang out. If she, she said I could go to her mother's house, hang out with them, and then she said if I go to her mama, she want to tag along as well. But it's going to be interesting story, man, if I go. Okay. There she is. It's choking. <laughs> Mucho tiempo, my God. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Mucho, mucho tiempo, boy. How's everything going? Hola. Hello. <laughs> ¿Cómo estás, Silvia? Bien, gracias a Dios. Okay. Súper alegre por verte de nuevo. De tanto tiempo sin verte. Ajá. ¿Tú vives aquí en Mérida? No, al lado. Okay. A Trujillo. Okay, so she actually lives all this time. Uh, I thought she lived in Mérida. She actually lives on the outskirts of Mérida. And so we're just gonna be hanging out for a couple of days. And today I decided to take her shopping. Okay, so she can pick whatever the whatever she wants, and I'm gonna go get it uh, for her. All right. And then later on we're gonna be going. Um, maybe to her her neighborhood or her, her town see how she's living in there and um, yeah just get to know a little bit about Sevilla in uh, Venezuela <laughs> if you are super excited um, hit that like button uh, Barbara okay. Quería oh, venir. look at her face. Okay. Pero pronto me voy yo para allá de nuevo con el favor de Dios. You, ¿Tú quieres regresar a Barranquilla? Sí, quisiera irme a Chile, pero ajá. ¿Tú te gustas aquí o Barranquilla? Bueno, en Barranquilla porque ya me he amañado bastantes años que he compartido yo allá. All right, so basically she's saying she's so used to living in Barranquilla, Colombia because she spent so much time there. She's made somewhat of a life there, although she's been staying here. ¿Cuánto tiempo en uh, Venezuela? Llevo aquí desde diciembre que llegué. Mm -hmm. Este llevo qué? Cuatro meses. Okay, so she got here in December and she's been here for, for around four, five months. Um, 
here, but she's getting ready to go back. But before she go back, I want to show her some love. And we, yeah, we're going to be trying to go to some interesting places. It's her turn uh, for me to splurge, all right? So anyways, hit that like button and let's go. So basically she knows about Merida but not this part of town the city center she knows more of the mountainous parts of Merida where she's accustomed to shopping so what we're doing now is something new walking around this area I actually walked around this area yesterday with Volt and this is a very special region of Venezuela because we're on the equator however this is a crater it snows here we're very close to it it's a oh. tropical yeah Caribbean paradise and well, right now it's covered up, but like you can see snow on the mountain. No, I actually saw it this morning, but I didn't film it. But uh, yeah, this place is amazing. It's, it's, it feels like a town, though. I feel like I'm in a town, but this you is a city. That vibe. This is the city center of it. This is the biggest city in the state of Merida. And well, pretty much this is the historic center. The houses, they have a very typical architecture. They all kind of look like that. You can see it from above. Mm -hmm. Here, it looks like just, you know, one big thing. But if you see it from above, you're gonna see space like an open garden. You'll see a room. Oh, then open. Then you'll see a room. It's yeah, something very nice. Different. I seen uh, something similar in Mexico, but uh, it had cobblestones. They have cobblestones here. They don't have cobblestones, but there is a road here that during uh, I, I believe it was Perez Jimenez, one of the old dictators we had here. Yeah, yeah. He pretty much got all the people from the jail, and he made them build the road. So the road is kind of it's not a very good because you have. You have inmates making the road, but you know, they did what they can. And it was a good way to get some labor out of these guys and have them doing something. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see the courtyard through yeah, there. Yeah, so yeah. Let's see what we can find here that she's interested in. She told me her, her mom needs some work boots. So we're going to get the work boots. Hopefully we can find that in it. Hopefully you can find all some other stuff that she's willing to buy. Yo. No. <laughs> Oh my Ay, gosh. I know. She asked me if I know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, if you don't know who this is, okay, and I, I, I understand. I met this girl in 2020 in Colombia, and her and her friend came over and cooked for me and actually started cooking videos with her and her friend. And so uh, they actually helped fix up my channel to get real popular when it came to cooking videos, and then I. I moved on from her and her friend and started working with my other friends that you already met. Um, all with this cooking for me, uh, making me cool, traditional type of meals. Actually, in my opinion, she was the star. Her friend was just tagging along, but she was actually the star of the show, just making all the cooking stuff and stuff like that. But uh, it was, I'm truly grateful for what they did. And so that's why I'm here. My trip here is not supposed to be about tourist destination. It's more about uh, meeting old friends, see how they live, and and that's about it. So if I don't go to places that you want me to go, that, uh, I'm sorry. I'm just here to hang out with some friends, show you the vibe, maybe show you a little bit of the city, um, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Right here, actually, we guys, we're in front of this um, town hall area right here beautiful church and as you can see there's a lot of people here la catedral la iglesia mm -hmm. muy bonito muy bonito oh my god el último tiempo nosotros está caminando así el 2020 eh, eh, el centro barranquilla sí en, como en el 2021 no no, 2020. Ah, okay. It was 2020 when we were. Comunicación solo por teléfono. Uh, we we only been talking through phone, so I have been keeping in contact with the ladies through the time, but uh, it's only been through phone. Y después de tantos años lo vuelvo a ver, pero gordito. Oh my God, she said after all this time. Um, but sí, no conozco a ti. Yo estaba go, uh, flaco. Oh, sí, estabas delgado. If, if, no, sí, no conozco a ustedes porque ese como Ah, yeah, look out. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Her hair is uh, way longer than before. <laughs> she said, I, uh, since she seen me, I got it bigger. But actually, they are the ones that helped me start getting this big. <laughs> but uh, since we are walking here, I might as well just show you the different infrastructure of the city. Just to remind you, this country was a rich country. So they built. And what they built is still here. So it's still a beautiful country to visit. It's just fine. Financially, there are some issues. I live in a bubble because I can financially pay 
for everything. So everything's a goal. So it's hard for me to explain the struggle of people who are just trying to figure out ways to pay for stuff because they don't have the money. A dollar really means a lot here. Just to keep you in mind, I know you guys watch these videos and think, oh, it's everybody's fine. No, there still is an issue here. Financially, people are just trying to find a way to make some money. All right, guys, we're gonna get something to eat first. My dollar. <laughs> ¿Qué quieres tomar? Coca-Cola es lo único que tengo. Ah, ¿no te da agua? No, hay agua también. Bueno, dame agua. Yo. Está dieta. Está dieta. <laughs> These girls love Coca-Cola, man. <laughs> this, 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 oh my God. <laughs> sí, sí. Y a uh, nugget. Die nuggets. She asked me what is my thoughts about this place. And I was like, uh, you know, it was a misconception because uh, I thought this place was like, uh, in destruction or anything, but she was telling me something. ¿Qué le dicen tú? No, que aquí este, hay muchos venezolanos que están por fuera emigrando, porque Venezuela, como verás y te has dado cuenta, está muy económicamente mal, porque aquí la mayoría todo es dólares y la mayoría de las personas no ganan dólares, ganan bolívares y eso no es nada comparado al dólar. Todo aquí uno se mueve, vas a comprar algo, un dólar, dos dólares. Y la mayoría de las personas, por ejemplo, mi mamá y mi papá cobran bolívares, ellos cobran dólares. Y yo pues ahorita estoy viendo en irme otra vez porque entre mi hermano y yo somos los que ayudamos a mi papá ahí en la casa. Y la situación está bastante mal. Porque aquí un trabajo donde paguen dólares, este, lo que te pagan semanal, si mucho, son 25 dólares. Y eso no es nada. O sea, eso se te va como puro para la comida de la semana y ya. Y ahí se te va todo el dinero. Eso es como que el máximo que es lo que te paguen. Porque la mayoría paga son 20 dólares. Wow, so basically it's around 80 bucks to 100 bucks a, a month. What um, certain Venezuelans are making. Y con eso es lo que medio se bandea la gente. Y que hacen trabajitos por fuera o algo así. Aquí tiene. Gracias. Ok. Okay, I got you, I got you. Thank you. Gracias. Comedios. Mm. <laughs> okay, she likes this. Why? Uh -huh. you like, oh, why we just eating there? The reason why I like the McDonald's here is because they have no choice but to rely on food that's made here. It's not shipped here. So, and in a way, the, the sanctions that are brought up to this country have stopped the type of food that McDonald's normally serves um, people in this country. And inadvertently, you're getting more of an organic type of feel to the food as opposed to the way food is made in other countries. So it's really good. I really enjoy the McDonald's here. El agua. El agua por esta dieta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this. this. This is a nugget here, guys. Look how crispy it is. Look. Real deals. Good. Mm -hmm. Ahora, ¿qué tal el uh, McDonald's? Barriguita llena, corazón contento. <laughs> All right, guys. Listen, uh, just to let you know, this is not a place that a lot of people can afford to eat. As you can see how empty it is. Gracias. All right. But uh, McDonald's has been able to maintain itself. Ahora vamos a uh, shopping. Now we're going shopping. What seems like forever Try to hold it together All the women clothes are upstairs, so let's go Yo soy papi chulo, okay? Eh, yo compra cualquiera de ellas quieres, okay? <laughs> Not only am I doing this to show some love, but I am curious to see how inexpensive this place is, or is it is expensive? Uh, we'll just find out. Can you see? She says, can she take the whole store with her? <laughs> Look, these pants right here go for $12.90, and that's this, this type of pants right here. This one's going for $11. All right, other pants right here, these are going for nine bucks. Not bad, I like them, They're, that's cool. See, we got some stuff here. This is going for $11 right here too. It's a bunch of stuff that I see are going for around 11 bucks. They want that extra dollar on there. Hey look, this one's right here going for $3. Yeah, bunch of stuff going for three bucks. All right, so this right here is going for 10 bucks. This uh, seems to be like actually a set, actually a shirt and a, the pants right here. Papi Chulo, ¿cómo te sientes? ¿Te gustas? Sí. 
¿Sientes bien? Ok, es tuyo. Ok. You can have whatever you want. Stacks on deck. <laughs> Some skirts going for the 10 bucks right here. ¿Otra vez? ¿Cuántas aprobaciones hay para pantalones? Oh, ¿Cuánto tú quieres? Wow. <risa> Mira la otra. <risa> I'm keeping my promise. She can get something for her baby sister and for her mother. Her mother needs some boots, so uh, hopefully we can find that as well. All right, so for the kids' clothing, again, you got um, one nine fifty. You got some shirts for five bucks right here. Everything they marked down 50%, you know what I mean? But these probably are the regular prices, even though they say it right here, though. More jackets going for five bucks. So a hundred bucks, you could pretty much do a killing here. Four bucks, three ninety each shirt. All right, guys, so this is what she's picking up from this store. A couple of pants and then some stuff for her, her sister. So let's find out what's the tally. So 90 bucks for all this right here, guys, okay? This area is kind of like a downtown area, guys. As you can see, there's so much stuff happening. Okay. Ahí después. See? She's looking at the discounted pricing, she says. Okay. Me gusta. You like it? It's real, it's real light. Okay, she's trying to figure out. So these are going for like 40 bucks right here, guys. And not for nothing, they do have some stylish shoes. I mean, they're not name brand, but they look dope though. So they didn't have her mom's shoe size, so we're gonna keep looking. On we go. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he is. Well, guys. But, but I don't speak English. But, uh, <laughs> she just came up to me and said, hello, <laughs> you are that guy. <laughs> Comunicación social. Okay. Yo soy merideña, sí, soy totalmente merideña. Venezuela, como toda Latinoamérica, es complicado. ¿Y por qué es complicado? Por la situación, como ya te la expliqué ahorita, lo que estamos viviendo todo venezolano, yo también soy venezolana. Es complicado. Sí, no puedo decir mucho. Ah, ya, yeah, entiendes. Pero yo soy una persona que tengo una perspectiva muy amplia, mm -hmm. ¿ok? Muy amplia con respecto a la situación. Sí. sí. Estudió, ahorita estaba saliendo a una charla sobre antropología social que está impartiendo el semestre que viene, el semestre que viene siendo una organización este, gubernamental, ¿ok? Y fue bastante interesante, pero esto tiene, es un choque cultural que viene de muchísimo atrás, ¿ok? Sí, desde la colonización, ¿ok? Nosotros estamos trabajando desde esas bases para saber cuál es la vía correcta, este, tanto política, social y económicamente para Venezuela, ¿sí? Yo pienso que somos ciudadanos del mundo, world citizen. World citizen, yeah. Ajá. That's good, yeah. Y que tenemos que infundir eso, impartir esa idea. Somos ciudadanos del mundo. No somos venezolanos solamente, no somos latinoamericanos, somos ciudadanos del mundo. So what I do is I, I would say I'm going to put everybody's contact in the, in the information just in case if you want to speak to them. So right now we're also talking about uh, the Medicaid system here because her, her mother is uh, sick with cancer and so I was just curious to understand what type of system. They do have a system here, but it's not perfect, okay? But what system is not, but... Sí, pero mira, mira, te voy a hacer una cosa. Mi mamá fue una mujer, o sea, mira, es que tendría que explicarte el contexto sociopolítico en el cual mi mamá creció. Mi mamá creció en lo que viene siendo la Cuarta República, que viene siendo una cuestión de... había un positivismo, ¿ok? Mm. Eh, y ella tuvo la oportunidad de estudiar y ella estudió una carrera que se llama Medicina, Sí, ella se graduó de médico y ella pudo pagarse sus cosas y ella en este momento puede mantener su, sus cosas pero hay personas que no lo hacen, no pueden porque no tienen los recursos ¿sí? Me too, ok Me too. All right, ok, it was a pleasure, una placer Un okay. placer igualmente, okay. super chévere
Okay, 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 all right. Bye. And here we are, guys. We are at the huge mall right here. Something you probably didn't expect was also in Venezuela. Like I said, they had money before and they built these amazing properties and they're still here. Just because people don't have as much money as they did doesn't mean these places are not being used. Some people still got paper out here. All right, guys, so we're back on the shoe hunt. Let's see if we can find some more. Something for her mother. Okay. okay. These shoes are going for 30, 25, 30 bucks right here. Really good. So she's gonna try them out. Um, her mom and her were basically the same type of size. But still I dream of you and say your name in my sleep. Tell me they look good. Uh-huh. Comfortable. Alright. Yeah, the, I just want to make sure the shoes are comfortable for her mom. So, so we got like three shoes, guys. Uh, one for her mother, one for her baby sister, and one for her father. Noventaisinco dollars. Okay. Gratis, huh? No? No gratis? No? Okay. So this is what we got, okay? These are for the uh, El Mama. Mami. Uh huh. Hermana. It's the baby girl. Padre. And that's for the father, right? We still looking for some, okay? Two camisas, no? Si, sí, hay que caminar. Vamos, vamos a buscar some um, shirts for her, okay? Because she just got some pants. All right, let's do it. Oh my God! Wow! The shopping continues. Alright guys, so Sylvia got two shirts here, went for 25 bucks. Alright? Total. Oh my god! Oh my god! You can carry all that stuff? <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys, that concludes shopping spree with Sylvia. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think we are gonna go to somewhere cold tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Tupac! <laughs> yeah, baby, baby. That's how, you, that's how you end it with the Tupac. All right. Echa un poquito para acá, chica. Es que tengo un conector ahí de la pila que está flojo y entonces. Ya. No más. Okay. Ya. Maybe I can say you're gordo. Hey, gordo. <laughs> Having some issues with pushing the car. Interesting. Claro, no, es que el conector. 
motor no hace contacto y deja de mandar gasolina y se apaga. Ah. We're ready, we're ready now. Venezuelans be jabbing, man. They be jabbing, man. Like, back in up right quick. Uh, we're just gonna stop the car and see. It's like a wire in between that's not touching, so he's gonna try to fix it now. Oh,